So anyway, yesterday, um, I just kind of banged my head against the desk, and you know, whatever I happened to bang out on the keyboard that way was kind of the forecast we went with. But uh, a little more confident today. We haven't seen a lot of change in the track intensity forecast. Probably going to keep fluctuating. Haven't seen much change since yesterday, but. I think the closer we get, uh, the more we'll see. And if we do see big changes, that will arrive late tonight, early tomorrow morning okay. after the Yucatan. One more big speed bump for it, and then it's in the Gulf, and it's straight on to Louisiana from there. So here's a look at the satellite radar picture. This is a look at what uh, Nate looks like right now. Looks much, much better than it did yesterday. You can actually find where the center is now. That's going to be off the coast of Honduras. Yesterday it was out over towards Nicaragua. It's really, really struggling. Picked up speed as well. It's at about 14 miles an hour headed towards the north northwest. That's going to put it in the Yucatan sometime later tonight, early tomorrow morning, you're thinking right around midnight or so. It is going to interact with the peninsula here. And there's going to be a couple things to watch for. If this stays a little further towards the west, because that cone actually takes it uh, from just offshore to a little further inland. So depending on where that lands is going to really tell us a lot about what this storm ends up doing. The forecast right now is going to be based off of just clipping out over towards Cancun and getting off of the land pretty quickly. But if it gets snagged up in some of the mountains here, that's going to have an impact on you a little bit further down the line. I'd imagine that would make a weaker system if it goes a little bit further out towards the west, however, and that center misses the Yucatan completely. It doesn't interact with any land that you may end up seeing a category one storm form just a little bit quicker and after that uh, just the way things can go in the Gulf of Mexico then you could start to see that blowing up as well so you want to make sure that you're prepared pretty much for about a category ahead of what you're expecting. So you're expecting category one is go ahead and get ready for a category two just to be on the safe side. Not saying that that's what we're going to see, but you always want to prepare for the worst case. Winds are at about 45 miles an hour right now, gusting up to 60. That's expected to strengthen a little bit closer to 75 miles an hour. That's going to be by early, early Sunday morning. This is a very fast moving storm. It doesn't give us a whole lot of time to prepare, but when it hits, it doesn't slow down at all. It just keeps going. So you're not going to see a Harvey situation where you have days and days of rainfall. This is just going to be hours worth really, uh, which is going to help with the flooding threat a little bit because you're not going to see that water start piling up. Winds are going to be the biggest issue for us here in Lafayette as well as portions of Acadiana. We do have a tropical storm watch all along the coastline from Vermilion Parish. That does include Lafayette Parish as well. Then from Morgan City out over towards Gulfport. Uh, that is going to be a hurricane watch in effect up through the weekend. I would imagine that those eventually become warnings as we go through the day. As far as your rain totals go, I think anywhere from one to three inches is going to be a fairly good bet uh, with this system. You could get some locally higher amounts, especially if you start to see some of those bands training one after the other. So watch for, for localized minor flooding. It will be worse out over towards the east. That's where you're looking at your five to eight inches worth uh, of rainfall. That's going to be eastern parts of Louisiana, two to four feet as far as your storm surge goes. Again, I, I would say the biggest threat for us here in Lafayette and here in Acadiana is going to be the winds, which will be pushing 40 miles an hour plus, but you'll see some higher amounts further eastwards. You go, not a good, not a good uh, weekend to be headed out eastwards to anywhere along the Gulf Coast. Guys.